Top 12 Amazing Bird Nests Built by Bad Architects. Number 12. Bald Eagles Nest in Trees Usually choosing the tallest living tree with accessible branches. The nest is built high in the tree below the crown, supported by large forked branches near the trunk. A bald eagle nest is constructed of interwoven sticks. The average bald eagle nest is 4 to 5 feet in diameter and 2 to 4 feet deep. Each year the adult pair will add new material to the nest. The largest recorded bald eagle nest, located in Street, Petersburg, Florida, was 9.5 feet in diameter, 20 feet deep, and weighed almost 3 tons. Number 11. The Vigelkop Bowerbird. Each boa is carefully built with strategic planning and woven construction techniques. Bower birds build very unique compositions, but there are two main kinds of boa structures. One is a cone-shaped hut that is attached to a sapling. This design utilized a column-like sticks and has an arched entrance. The second boa is more like a tunnel. The sticks are lined parallel to one another creating an elongated shelter. The core design is minimalistic and aesthetically sophisticated, but the true creativity comes after the architecture is completed. The interior design and color palette really gives the uniqueness that differentiates the males. Number 10. Like a crown jewel, the nest of a hummingbird is one of the great wonders in all of nature. They are so tiny, so perfect. Yet, few of us have ever seen a hummingbird nest. Hummingbirds build velvety, compact cups with spongy floors and elastic sides that stretch as the young grow. They weave together twigs, plant fibers, and bits of leaves, and use spider silk as threads to bind their nests together and anchor them to the foundation. Though each of the 17 hummingbird species that breed in North America build slightly different nests in various habitats, all hummingbird nests have much in common. One of the ways the hummingbirds get around this need for flexibility is that they construct the nest of soft plant fibers and then wrap the whole thing with spider web silk. This creates an elastic nest that has the ability to expand as the contents of the nest increases. Number 9. Rufus Hornero is known for its wonderful oven-shaped nest. This large spherical nest is made with clay, mud and vegetation such as straw. It is large with 20 to 30 centimeters in diameter and 20 to 25 centimeters high. The walls are about 3 to 5 centimeter thick. Such structure can weigh 3 to 5 kilograms. The walls made with mud and plant material or dung are very hard when dry. It is the typical adobe technique. The nest is placed up to 8 meters above the ground, the orientation of the entrance may be variable, and it is often positioned. Number 8. The most intriguing quirk of the common tail orbit is perhaps, that it creates its nest, by sewing leaves together with its beak. The edges of the threads act like rivets, holding the leaf edges together. The stitches don't unravel, thanks to the coarseness of the thread and elasticity of the leaves bringing back to grip the thread passing through the holes. A single nest can contain between 150 and 200 stitches. The nest even has a roof to provide shelter from the monsoon rains and offer shade from the sun, formed by one or more pieces of leaves pulled down. Number 7. Flamingus build nest mounds made of mud, small stones, straw, and feathers. These mounds can be as high as 30 centimeters. 12 inches. Mound building begins up to 6 weeks before the eggs are laid. Using their bills, both male and female participate in mound building by bringing mud and other objects toward their feet. As they slowly construct the mound, the parents make a shallow well on the top where the female will lay the egg. Number 6. Edible birds nests are bird nests created by edible nest swiftlets, Indian swiftlets, and other swiftlets using solidified saliva. The structure hardens after the birds have shaped it into a solid half doll shaped nest to bear the nestlings. In the end, the nest must be strong enough to hold the weight of the parent birds and their two nestlings. The dried white bird nest created by the swiftlet bird is considered a delicacy in Asian countries, and is widely used in Chinese medicine. If you can't live without it, 100 grams will cost you about $450. Farming edible bird's nests is becoming popular in Malaysia because of the rising demand from China's growing middle class. Number 5. 
The European bee eaters breeding pairs nest in long, vertical nesting burrows that they themselves excavated in earth or sand banks, such as river banks or sand quarries. The tunnels are usually at least 3 feet deep and terminate in a nest chamber. A clutch consists of 4, 7 spherical white eggs. Both parents share the incubation tasks and raising of the chicks in about one fifth of all nests. Number 4. Weaver bird nests are extraordinary structures. Most individual nests are cylindrical in shape, with downward facing, narrow entrances that are usually situated over or next to water. Ensuring that the entrance faces downwards and is as narrow as possible deters thieves and potential predators. Some nests even have a long tube, extending the entrance further beneath the nest body. Having selected a good location for his nest, the weaver bird starts to loop and weave strands of grass or strips of leaves around the ends of one or two branches in a tree. Having created a looped basis for the nest body, the weaver bird then builds the hollow body before adding the tubular entrance last. Number 3. House sparrow nests are made of coarse dried vegetation, often stuffed into the hole until it's nearly filled. The birds then use finer material, including feathers, string, and paper, for the lining. House sparrows sometimes build nests next to each other. This time-lapse video shows the efforts putting by bird to build the nest. Number 2. Sociable weavers build large compound community nests a rarity among birds and these structures are the largest and possibly the most spectacular structures built by any bird. They are large enough to house over a hundred pairs of birds spanning several generations at a time. Unlike other weavers who build their nests in the breeding season, sociable weavers use and maintain the nests throughout the year. They nest in colonies as small as 10 individuals and up to 400 to 500 birds. Number 1. Woodpeckers are mainly cavity nesters and bore holes in hollow trees or ones that have rotten centers. If the latter, they also clean out the rotten wood so they can build a nest. Woodpecker nests are usually built of straw of some sort, grass, feathers, and bits of bark. The nests are built by winding the strands around and shaping it with the breast of the bird until all the strands are intertwined and feathers are strategically placed in the back quote bowl of the nest.